Welcome to this month's edition of Keeping It Real with Rob, our Green Level Athletics podcast. Doing something special here for the month of December. Might as well call it a holiday two-for-one special. Uh, we have two Green Level basketball players joining us here today. Dina Prasad from the Green Level girls basketball team. Trey Manhurts from the Green Level boys basketball team. What's up, guys? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Thanks for being with us. Uh, so let's talk about uh, Green Level basketball so far this year. Dina, we'll start with you. Uh, how is the uh, girls basketball team doing here in 2023? Um, we're doing great. We are so excited for our season to have finally started and be underway. We had a few early losses, um, but we're definitely going to bounce back from those. And I think our team, we're we're so good at adjusting and adapting and we're going to over overcome this and I think we have a great season in store for us great what about you how's the uh, boys basketball team looking we started off really well so far 4-0 we're trying to have trying to build off last year when we had the best season in our sports history so we're trying to build off that kind of as a stepping stone have a good year at the time of us recording this right now uh, we're getting ready to finish the non-conference schedule and we're getting ready for uh, some swaction uh, so, Dina, back to you. Uh, when you look at the top teams in the conference for girls basketball, uh, who are those top teams? And, and, like, who, you know, who are you circling on the schedule of, like, this is the big one. We need to pay attention to these guys. Um, I would say that we are definitely up there in as for the top teams in our conference. And then I would say last year, one of the teams in our conference, Panther Creek, did win the state championship. So that's something we're going to keep an eye out on. But I'm pretty confident in our team's ability to definitely be one of the top teams in the conference. I like it. Uh, Trey, boys basketball team, you guys had a great year last year in the conference, uh, especially with the conference tournament. Uh, what are some of the expectations for this season? Well, a lot of people had us at the uh, number one spot coming in. So that's all that means is now we're the no longer the underdogs. We're the teams that target on the back. We have to do everything right. We don't have as much wiggle room as we did last year. We and we went from being the team to sneak up on people to the team we can't sneak up on anyone anymore. So, and, and when you think about Green Level, this boys basketball program, uh, it, it's been a complete turnaround. You know, the first two years of being a school and being a program was not fun uh, for Green Level boys basketball. I, I don't, you know, I don't think that's a secret. Uh, you know, not very many wins uh, during those first two years, but the the turnaround that you guys have had over the last two years. How would you describe that? I mean, it was surreal for me because I remember freshman year, we were 0-14 and COVID hit. So it was like, I, I wasn't very confident going into sophomore year, but everyone came back hungry. We got we got some freshmen, not only on our varsity team, on the JV team that was willing to develop with, over time. And we just all worked to get here. We all progressed how we need to progress for us to win. And it just it happened in a span that I didn't think it would happen in. Oh. Dina, how about for you? Uh, when you look back from you know the start of your career with the girls basketball team to now as a senior, how would you kind of put it into words of of what it's been like you know the last few years? Um, it started off kind of rough, uh, I think, because I mean both of us were seniors now, but we came in during COVID, so the conferences were weird. I think that was the year they realigned them after, yeah. and we only played some teams once, some teams twice. Had to play with masks. So it was, it's definitely been quite a journey. And I feel like every year that, you know, I've played, I've learned so much more. And we, everybody on our team has progressed. And, you know, like we lost, we were really good a couple years ago. And, you know, we lose those seniors. And then we have more people who step up and take leadership roles and then help to bring in the new younger players. And I think we've really worked hard to create with women's basketball and men's basketball a good culture at our school and over the last couple couple years we've really developed you know somewhere where everyone's everyone belongs everyone's a part of the team and everyone works as hard as they can but at, and, but at the end of the day like 
we're really we work very cohesively and we're all together. Is that something that kind of came natural for for you and, and for the team? Uh, you know, when it comes to senior leadership for, for both of you guys, it, does it come natural to you to, to kind of take the younger players, put them, you know, take them under your wing and say, hey, all right, let's try this. Hey, you know, remember we practiced this. Or is it kind of, you know, Coach Wolf or Coach Green is kind of like, hey, make sure is he, you know, is he telling you guys or are you kind of doing that on your own as as a senior? For me, it kind of came natural just growing up playing basketball. I was always kind of the leader, always like the vocal one. And if I didn't know exactly what they needed to do, I could always look, like tell them like how to help them, how to get there. So it could always kind of came natural to me. And especially this year when we lost, obviously the twins were our vocal guys. They did everything for us and we needed to fill that hole. So I'm trying my best to le- pick up where they left off. So. Yeah, I think communication is so, so important when you play any sport, but especially basketball where there's so much going on at one time. And I mean, we stress that so much at practice. And I I think that like as, as a, a se- for both of us as seniors, we want our younger players to succeed because if they play well, every everyone does well. And so it's part of that, you know, sense of team that I'm like every single time I'm going to go out of my way to make sure our younger players know what they're doing, make sure that they're doing okay and that everybody is playing to the best of their ability. Let's talk about your coaches. Uh, Dina, for you, Coach Coach Wolf, what has he meant to you during your time here at Green Level? Uh, Coach Wolf has been an incredible support system for me. That's the number one thing. I'm, I've taken a lot of you know, pretty challenging classes here. And this is just outside of basketball, just as he's an amazing human being, I think. And he's always, you know, supported me when things get to be overwhelming. And then on the basketball court, you know, he always knows what he's doing. He spends so much time going over stats, looking through film to find, you know, how we can make ourselves better. And we have scouting reports and we go over everything for every game because I genuinely don't think that they're, is maybe anybody at the school who wants us all to succeed more than Coach Wolf does. Nice. That's good to hear. Uh, Trey, what about you uh, with, with Coach Green? What, what has he meant to you? Coach Green is like my best friend. You could talk about you could talk to him like he's a teenager. He's he's always there for anyone when they need it. Even if you're no longer on the team, he made efforts to talk to kids about what they need to do and always be there. And I think the best trait about him is he's a coach teacher, but he's a dad first. And I always found value in that. He's always making time for his kids, making saying, I got to leave practice early to help go to my son's football game. Some people might not see that, but I, I think that's one of the coolest things you can do is uh, just trust your guys to continue practice while you leave and get your kid. I think that's super cool. And then from a basketball standpoint, he's helped me become the player I am today. Freshman year, I, I could barely shoot 10 feet away from the basket, but now I'm confident to shoot from anywhere, and he had huge, huge part in helping me with that. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. And it's, it's good to see. You know, we, had, we had both of the coaches on last year uh, here on the podcast, and, and what they said about players like you guys, uh, it, it's it's good to hear, like, kind of the same thing reciprocated from, from the players to the coaches. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so let's talk about future plans. Uh, Trey, we'll start with you. Uh, once you graduate green level coming up you know, in a few months, uh, what, what, what do you have planned coming up? I want to get into sports management and I plan to play basketball in college. I'm still talking to some schools, but my overall goal after the ball stops bouncing is to become an athletic director and follow my dad's footsteps. Cause I, I love the sports field and helping the fundraising, building those connections, I think is really interesting. Mm-hmm. It's something I think I could be strong at. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, Dina, what about you? Um, I also plan to play in college. I'm probably going to be committing in the next couple weeks or so, which is really exciting. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and I want to do business analytics and then uh, branch out and look into fields with, you know, data analytics, stuff like that after college. Mm-hmm. So numbers, it's all about numbers for you. Lots of numbers. That, uh, that might answer one of my questions uh, coming up. It's time for a segment we like to call Investigator. All right, 
here we go. First question. How many siblings do you have? Two. One. All right. Uh, favorite flavor of Gatorade? Uh, red. Blue. Least favorite food? Uh, eggplant. Any type of soup. <laughs> soup, okay. <laughs> uh, favorite class at school? Uh, math, probably. Yearbook. <laughs> Yearbook. Back out the cheap out. But... <laughs> uh, and then finally, last question for both of you guys. Uh, what is on your holiday wish list this year? Um, new basketball shoes. <laughs> probably new basketball shoes as well. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Dina Prasad and Trey Manhurts from our Green Level Women's and Men's Basketball team. Thank you guys for coming on the show. We really appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it as well.